Hello and welcome to another video from Gus Tech. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up SLI on your computer from the hardware setup and then transitioning into the software setup so you can see exactly how to do it from point A to point Z. In order to do this properly we're going to need four different things. The first thing you'll need is a motherboard that is SLI capable. Make sure when you're purchasing it it actually says in the designer specs that it is SLI capable. The second thing you'll need are two equal graphic cards. If it's a GTX 970, for example, not only make sure they're both 970s, you'll also need to make sure they're both the same manu manufacturer and model so that the clock speeds will match, increasing your SLI performance, your SLI performance. The third thing you'll need is an SLI bridge. It should come with your motherboard that is SLI capable. If it is not included, you can purchase them online for usually about $10. The fourth thing you'll need is a power supply that is capable of powering both of your graphic cards and has the necessary outputs built into them to make sure that it can run in SLI. If you have any doubts or questions about your power supply, you can reference the manufacturer of that power supply's website and it should tell you more information about whether or not that will actually run an SLI capable setup. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our first graphic card is plugged into the first 16x slot on your motherboard. This is typically the top PCI Express slot, but you should consult your manual for more instruction to make sure. The 8x slot, which is the next slot we want to plug into, is typically going to be the third slot on your motherboard. It's the other long one, the next long one. And there should be ample room for cooling in most motherboards that are made uh, in the last few years. Once you have your cards in this orientation, we'll want to connect our SLI bridge. This should come with your motherboard. We're going to go ahead and connect it to these connectors that match on the actual graphic cards. Now keep in mind there's going to be two sets of connectors. And the reason is because if you're doing a three or four way sly, you can daisy chain them, attaching them to the other ones that are in your setup. It slides right in, not a hard installation. Once you have that all configured, you want to make sure that you have the power plugged in properly. You will want to have dedicated PCI Express power coming from your power supply unit. You don't want to use Molex converters or things like that when you're running SLI because it's going to draw a lot of power. So make sure your power supply can support it. And those should snap into place without too much difficulty. Voila! There you go. This is all you need to do to physically set up your computer for SLI. Once you have everything installed properly as far as the hardware is concerned, turn on your computer, navigate to a browser, and go to nvidia.com. It's going to bring up this page where you have to select your region. We are in the USA or Canada. We're going to click on that. Go to drivers. Select GeForce drivers. You can go to all NVIDIA drivers if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. My preference is to download the GeForce experience. It's the top selection here. Go ahead and click the download link. It'll start the download and you can actually run the installation process. That should be fairly basic and automatic. Once we have the GeForce Experience installed, it should also install your drivers with it. You can see it here in the system tray. If we right click on the desktop, we can get to the NVIDIA control panel. This is installed with the GeForce Experience and your drivers for your graphic cards. Click on this option here. It will take you into probably this page first when you first open it. We don't need to worry about this. We're going to click on Configure SLI Surround PhysX. Once we're in here, we're going to need to click on Maximize 3D Performance. When you do this, make sure that you don't have any programs like Steam or any video capture or video uh, playing programs running. Otherwise, it's going to have to shut those off in order to change the SLI configuration it will initially be disabled. So we're going to click Maximize 3D Performance. We've already done that. Basically what's going to happen then is it will actually flash on your screen for about five, maybe ten seconds. Everything's going to look weird for a second and then everything's going to come back and look all beautiful again. If you have multiple monitors, you can span the displays with Surround. What this will do is it will enable games that support it to run at 5760 if you have three monitors by 1080p, allowing it to show up on all three of the monitors and still maximizing your SLI optimization that you get from your graphic cards. Typically you don't need to change your PhysX processor settings from auto select. It's going to select the one, the, the one graphic card that's going to be pulling the least amount of energy and so auto select is usually recommended. Once you have selected the proper settings, maximize 3D performance, everything else is good to go. 
you will want to make sure that you click the apply button. You need to click apply in order for the changes to actually take place and again your screen is going to flash for usually five to ten seconds uh, and if you have multiple displays they're all going to flash and then it's all going to show up properly again once SLI is enabled and configured. Uh, very few games are going to require you to disable SLI but if you need to set it up for specific games to get rid of that it's very simple. All you need to do is click on manage 3D settings that will take you to this page you can then select the different games or programs that need to not run in SLI. Then you go down and scroll to the settings and click on SLI rendering mode and you can disable it. You can force it to alternate frame rendering, you can have single GPU rendering, or you can obviously have it up, uh, turned on, which this is on our games that we're running. Thanks again for watching our video on how to set up NVIDIA's SLI. Make sure to check back for more reviews of different products, computer hardware, monitors, graphic cards, as well as instructional videos on how to set everything up and be able to operate your own computer effectively and making sure you're maximizing your performance. Like the video if you liked it, comment if you have any questions or suggestions for us, and make sure you click that subscribe button so we can keep making videos like this for you. If you are interested in purchasing different products that can run SLI in this configuration or a similar configuration, we're going to have various links in the description for you to look at high quality motherboards as well as high quality graphic cards that you're going to be able to utilize to run a setup like this. Thanks again for watching. We are Gustek. We'll see you next time.